Yo, what's good everyone? Thank you for tuning in to today's video. As you can tell by the title, we are back again with yet another review. And in today's review, we will be taking a look at the recently released Ur Jordan 5 Bluebird. But before we get into all of that, I want to welcome back all of my returning subscribers. If you are new around here, please feel free to smash that subscribe button. Also, do make sure the bell notification is switched on so you can be notified every single time I drop a video just like this. If you do want to enjoy this video, please give us a massive thumbs up, which is always truly appreciated. And if you do want to reach out to me outside of YouTube, you will be able to find me on Instagram under ACS Sneakers. And now we've got all those formalities out of the way. Sit back, relax, and let's go ahead and get straight into the video. So before we go ahead and actually get stuck into the review, let's just take a quick look at the shoe box. Now the box itself is just pretty much your standard run of the mill Jordan 5 box. As in the center of the lid, we have mostly that all black color with that red jump man. If we then take a quick look at the label, which reads women's Air Jordan 5 retro in the ice blue graphite colorway. And this is actually a pair for my missus, as you may be able to tell from the size label if you've seen previous reviews. Now I'm only just noticing as well, this actually does have both the men's and women's sizing on there. I don't remember this being on any of the other pairs that we've reviewed, but to be honest, the other pairs were grade school, not women's, so this might not be new. If it is new, do make sure to leave me a comment in the comment section below. This isn't actually something I've actually ever seen before. And if we then just take a quick look inside the box, we actually have your black tissue paper or black trash bag paper or bin liner paper. I never really know what to call it. And then underneath that, we have the kicks. So if we now just go ahead and get straight into this review. Is it weird to sniff other people's shoes? I don't care. Oh, that smell. So without any further ado, in hand, we have the Ur Jordan 5 Bluebird. Now, as you can see from its diminutive size, this isn't a personal pair for me. This is a pair that I actually picked up for my missus. Now this is a shoe that she pretty much had no inkling about until um, almost on the day of its release. But to say that she's happy about it would be an understatement. Seeing her reaction to this shoe was everything I needed to be completely honest. You know, when it comes to buying and selling shoes and just maintaining a collection, we kind of get ourselves to a position where we're so often getting new sneakers that we really don't appreciate the ones we already have or the ones we've really not worn that often. But with somebody like her who buys just the shoes she actually wants and the shoes she wants to wear, she really rocks her shoes hard. Like she runs them into the ground. You know, she's got the Jordan 4 Lightnings, which are beat up at this point. Same with the Carmines and she's doing the same with the Oreos. And as this is a Christmas present, this is something that she will probably be running through heavy throughout like the final stage of December and January. I'm really glad that this wasn't something I was even thinking about for me. This is a shoe that had her name written all over it. And honestly, seeing the shoe in hand, actually looking at all the materials and the quality of this shoe, I'm genuinely really happy with how it's turned out, especially with the fact that this is a gift. But not to take up any more of your guys' time, we'll get started with this review, starting out with the upper and then working our way down. Now, the upper of the shoe has been done in this absolutely beautiful icy blue suede material. Now, the quality of the suede on this shoe is absolutely exceptional. Probably one of the best suede that I've actually experienced myself this year. It has a really interesting texture to it, so it's slightly smooth, but also slightly rough as well. It's not necessarily a short herd suede or a long herd suede. It's somewhere there in the middle. It has that two-tone variation to it, which is something I absolutely love. And if that's something you're interested in, this shoe has it as well. Nice. But if we actually put the quality of the suede to one side for a second and actually focus more on the actual colorway itself, the colorway of this shoe is pretty much what drew my missus into it in the first place. Now, when she first saw this colorway, she said that this reminded her of the Uni Blue 4s. And I can completely get where she's coming from. It has a really nice icy blue look to it. To be honest, I don't think it's the exact same shade from the Uni Blue 4s to this one. And to be honest, even though I've not seen that one in hand, I really like how this icy blue looks. Even though this isn't a shoe that I would necessarily associate with like the winter months because of the fact that I live in the UK and it's going to rain for the next six months. But because of how icy it looks and how cool the tones are on it, I think if you were wearing this with a pretty clean average fit, this is actually going to work really well. It's a shoe you can match up to a lot of outfits quite easily, especially if you wear a lot of darker outfits in the winter months. This is going to be a shoe that's just going to be easy to rotate in and out. 
And especially for her, because she doesn't really worry too much about maintaining the shoes. That's more my responsibility. I think she's going to have a great time wearing these. The color, straight fire. The quality is there as well. So absolutely no complaints when it actually comes to the upper of the shoe itself. But as we work our way further back into the midfoot, we do have that pretty standard mesh material in the midfoot. And underneath this, we do have some 3M materials. But as we then just continue to work our way back into the center of the shoe, we have once again, more really nice cool tones on the laces. Now the laces themselves do sit atop more of that mesh netting material like we see on either side of the shoe. And as we work our way up the laces, we do have that pretty standard Jordan 5 lace lock. Now at the top portion of the tongue, we do have once again more 3M details. And in the center of the tongue, we do have this icy blue jump man in the center of the tongue itself. But from there, if we then just work our way onto the inside of the shoe. Now on the inside, we have one of those details that we see quite a lot when it comes to women's releases. As we have once again a satin sock liner. For me, it is honestly one of my favorite details about this shoe. Has a really nice premium, almost feminine aspect to the shoe. And it just feels really great on the hand. I imagine it's gonna feel really nice on foot. Even though I'd be a little bit skeptical about my foot moving around because of how like velvety and how soft this material is. In general, like the overall quality and the actual feel of the material feels absolutely fine to me. And as we do continue to work our way further inside the shoe, we do have more really nice hits of blue on that Jumpman branding. But as we do continue to work our way down the shoe, as you can see, we do have the absolutely beautiful, iconic shark teeth detailing. Now, instead of it being done in that traditional sense where we would see splatter print incorporated into the shark teeth, it's all been done in one block solid color and it's done in this all silver color. And as we then continue to work our way back towards the heel of the shoe, we do have more silver hits wrapping right the way around the heel. On the heel of the shoe, we do have that Jumpman branding. And as we work our way onto the medial side of the shoe, as you can see, once again, we do have more silver hits on the midsole as well. Once again, really nice detail, adds that really nice, almost winter vibe to the shoe itself. And from there, if we then switch over to the outsole of the shoe, we do have this really nice semi-blue icy outsole with that Jordan branding. Connecting directly into the outsole of the shoe itself, we do actually have more semi-translucent materials around the toe box to match what we saw on the outsole. Once again, a really nice detail for this shoe. So when it comes to the overall sizing for this shoe, for obvious reasons, unfortunately, I'm not actually able to try this shoe on to tell you exactly how it fits. Now, my missus has tried this pair out and she does vouch for the fact that this shoe does fit true to size. And to be completely honest, whenever it does come to the Jordan 5, I always just say go with your natural true to size fit anyway. I've never gone wrong with it. It's always fit me absolutely fine. So when it does come to the sizing for this one, I'd highly suggest just going with your natural true to size fit. And I do think that that'll be the best outcome for you. And other than that, I think we've just about covered everything that's worth covering on this shoe. So if we now just go ahead and wrap up this video. So just to wrap up this video in terms of my overall opinion on the shoe itself, to give these a rating, I'm going up there. I'm gonna say that these shoes are a nine out of 10. Genuinely very impressed by the overall craftsmanship, the overall design of the shoe, the colorway, the details, the suede, everything about this shoe I just absolutely love. I can't give it a 10 out of 10. I don't know why I can't, but I just can't. But I think a nine out of 10 is definitely a really fair reflection of how good this shoe actually is. I'd love to get your guys' opinions on it as well. So do feel free to leave me a comment in the comment section below with your thoughts. And if you have stuck around to this point in the video, I do want to say a massive thank you. If you haven't already, please feel free to smash that subscribe button. Also do make sure the bell notification is switched on so you never miss a video. And I hope to see you all again in the next one.